Okay, so in this tutorial, we'll be having a look at the pitch effect. So if you go up here in the browser, click this arrow and go into MIDI effects, just drag in a pitch on, uh, let's, let's just use the left launch pad um, for these tutorials. So what the pitch does is, if you remember from the previous tutorial, each number, uh, each button on the launch pad has its own number. This, for example, is number 36. So the pitch, I won't even explain what the range does because it's useless. I've never found any use for it. Um, basically what it does is, okay, um, we're sending 36 from the launch pad into Ableton um, and it's going, so here we've got 36 and it's going into this effect. And this effect basically says, okay, we've got 20, 36, we can change the value, we can shift it. So it's basically moving the light around. Um, so say we've got 36 and we want to add one and do 37. So let's just do plus one. And now we've got this one turning on, plus two. And then you can also change it with the uh, directional arrows. So plus three, plus four, plus five, blah, blah, blah. And it goes all the way up. And remember the launch pad is split in half. So it will do this row first, then this row, and then the sides. So like this, it will keep on going up. Then this is value 31. And it's all maths. There are 64 buttons on the launch pad. So if you do 32, it's basically half. So it starts from the second half. So here, this one plus 32 is here. If I press this and do, um, 32, it will do all of this and then start here. If I do minus 32, it will go back to this one. So obviously, if I do, for example, let's just do plus one, just for the sake of the example. So if I do this, if I press this button, it will light this one up. If I press this one, it will light the next one up. So it's always lighting the next one up, okay? So as you know, um, it's divided into um, half. So obviously, um, you're gonna have to do four plus four to get um, the note above one to light up because it's this note plus one plus two plus three and then plus four so if we just start from zero we do plus one plus two plus three and plus four so wherever i press it's always going to light the note above it now or if i do minus four it's going to light the note under it so just try and get a pitch um just drag a pitch into your um track and just play around with it see what lights up what um and yeah so that's kind of how it works. Just, I wanted to show you um, all of the, like the order of the pitch, just so you can see it for once. Um, so it goes all the way up here, 31, and then 32, it starts on the second half of the launch pad. And then it keeps on going up. And then it gets all the way up here to 64. Um, 64 would be, uh, this is zero, obviously. So then 64 will be this one. And uh, it keeps, oh, 64 and then 65, 6, uh, whatever, and it does the side notes too, and it goes here. And one quick thing is you might be asking yourself, what about these um, top notes? So the launch pad, uh, the old ones, you could just access them normally. Um, however, the, this new launch pad, um, the launch pad Pro and I think MK2 as well, you need Max for Live to do this. So you can just download this Top Lights 2.1 and um, just drag that in and uh, select so like Launchpad Pro, in this case, I've got the Launchpad Pro. And actually, the, these top notes are um, 30, they start as, this is 36, this is 35, 34, 33. So you actually need to go minus, so it's 36, minus one is 35, 36, uh, 35, 35, 34, 33, and blah, 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 all the way up to um, minus eight, which will be um, 28 or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's basically how the pitch works. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below, but I think it's pretty easy to understand. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.